What is going on everyone? Happy Friday and welcome to the channel. My name is Hart for those of you that are new and I'm going to be breaking down this price picks board going over the best bets of the day in terms of probability and odds wise with my dashboard from Run Good Props. So if you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. Do appreciate all the support. I have two NBA picks at the end of the video as well. Um, but yeah, make sure to hit that like button. We've been killing it. Do really, really appreciate all the support recently. We've hit 60 likes. If we get to 65 on this video, that'd be great. And make sure to check out my Patreon link down below where I do offer some price pick packages as well as NBA DFS all combined into one at a low price. And I do think it's pretty worth it. We had a pretty solid yesterday uh, in terms of price pick plays. So yeah, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in this board breakdown. Before I get into the board breakdown, just want to say follow me on Twitter at HeartDFS and want to do just a quick recap of my picks from yesterday. So for the YouTube plays, we went one and one Tatum obviously hit the over there and there's really not much we can do about the middle 10. Uh, we got absolutely screwed there by literally a 70 point blowout. I think the, the buck shot two of 30 in the second quarter, they ended up going down by 20 and then it turned into a 50 point, 60 point blow in that second half. So Middleton only played 20 minutes. He got knocked out of the game in that third quarter, uh, took an elbow to the face. So we were absolutely screwed there. I mean, he was pacing easily. I think he had 11 out of the 24 in the first quarter. I think he had 15 at halftime uh, and then 17 right at the start of the third quarter. So he was easily pacing, but they were down 70 points. And there's really, I mean, can't do anything about that. It, it was just super annoying because we got hooked two days ago and barely missed the 2-0 the with the sweep there. And then yesterday we, we got screwed. A guy who was easily pacing and it ended up turning into just a 70-point blowout. The worst defeat for the Bucs in like years. It was just so, so frustrating. But in terms of, my other plays, I put up a, a four pick on my Patreon link down below where we went three or four. We got hooked on Connor McDavid, but we still made money on that. And then I had personally had a four out of six play that got ruined because of Middleton, obviously. And then Aaron Gordon, who should easily hit his fantasy score because there's no Jokic, only shot eight times. So yesterday was pretty much a wash even day for me. But in terms of like the price pick play that I did put up for you guys, that made money. And then obviously we went one and one on the, the YouTube pick. So yeah, just a, a decent day looking to get back on track here today. In terms of the best probability bets that we're getting on the board right now uh, for you know bets that do have the, the push potential, it's going to be Pascal Siakam here at four and a half assists is what the sportsbooks have him at. Right now, Pricebooks has, obviously has him at five. So I think it's a solid one. Uh, don't mind it. But as you guys know, I don't like going with bets that do have push potential. I mean, you can, as you can see here, there's a good amount. Um, you know, like the rebounds for... Uh, Mikel Bridges is a decent one. He's been reading about in the ball pretty solid. Um, Wendell Carter Jr. is under there for rebounds. Looks decent. So, yeah, I mean, there's some some interest here for me, but I'd rather just get to, um, you know, a few other guys. I will mention, you know, the assist there for Sabonis is very, very low. Right now, Price Picks has him at six. I mean, he was on an insane streak there, uh, just playing fantastic basketball with a ton of assists. And obviously, the, the game versus Portland, he only played 26 minutes, only got four. Game before that, he had four. But before that, he had seven, nine, 12, nine, 10, five, but then 10, 15, four, 10, 11. So I like the bounce back spot here for the assist for uh, Sabonis. Obviously, there is huge ball at risk. They obviously blew him out last game. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they did blow him out again. But if that happens, you know, that people need to be making their shots and it's going to be coming from people obviously passing the ball and getting assists. So I, I do like the assist there. I, don't, I want to see what the over is real fast. Assists, he's over, he's minus 155 to hit at least over five and a half to hit, pretty much hit six. So I don't mind that. Um, I think that's a pretty solid one there. As we can see, it does line up minus 155. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty solid one. We'll get back to that. Maybe I'll include that in the video. Uh, but right now, we'll just go to the ones that don't have the push potential. We'll go to probability and look what the best ones we're getting. Right now, we're getting a baseball one, total bases over the 0.5 line there for CJ Crone. I don't think he's popping up here on price picks, though. I don't think they have that. Let's go to total bases. Yeah, so they only have his, his hitter fancy score. They don't have his over bases, so that's a little frustrating there, but that, that one's popping up. If you can find a, a prop site that does have that, look, that looks like a great one as of right now. Lou Dort's popping up on the board right now. I don't love that. I think I'm going to you know go down to a few other plays here, like a Fred Van Fleet. I think Fred's a very interesting play for today. Um, if we look at Fred here, pull him up here real fast. He's playing against uh, Philadelphia. Obviously, as we can see here for the game lines, pull it up for you guys. Five and a half point spread, 
so it should be a pretty close game. 224 game total, so not the best you know scoring game. But we know Fred, uh, he does step up in pretty big games. Uh, but it's one of those things where he's kind of got all the check marks and all that. He checks off all the boxes that we want with a guy that we're taking props on. He's playing huge minutes. Uh, he shoots the ball a ton. He shoots a good amount of threes. You know, if he get, you know, gets hot from three, he can easily hit his over there. Uh, but uh, he does everything. He rebounds, assists, hits the threes, gets steals. So right now, um, the board is really liking his over points at 18 and a half. I think that's pretty low, as we can see here. Uh, I mean, he's easily hit it in pretty much the past five out of the past seven. It just comes down to, can he hit his shots? That's the only issue is sometimes he'll go seven of 22, uh, five of 16 and just not make any shots, but he does shoot a good amount of threes. So if he gets hot, he could easily go off, hit that number on threes alone. So I think, you know, Fred Van Fleet over the points there is a pretty solid one. Um, rebounds is a little risky. Same thing with assists, but I, I do like the over points and the over fancy score just because he's a guy who, as you can see, he averages a good amount of steals per game and there's three points each on prize picks. So that's already six points there. That's nine uh, throwing a block right there. So, I mean, right there, that is 12 points just from steals and blocks. So, I mean, that, that's huge. I mean, that's already, what, 26 fantasy points right there, 26 and a half that he just needs in terms of just the rest of the team. So, I do like Fred Van Fleet a good amount. So, we'll come back to him. Just want to bookmark that. But, yeah, he does look pretty solid, even though it's a little bit of a tougher matchup here versus the 76ers. Another guy that is popping up right now um, is going to be Jaden Ivey. So, we'll highlight him real fast. He's popping up for points. Points and rebounds and PRA as well. Uh, the board's really liking his over, as you can see here. And right now, his, he's minus 150 on DraftKings to hit the over there, points of 19 and a half, um, which obviously looks very, very solid. Uh, so we'll pull him up here on prize picks. We'll go to Ivy. Boom. And then we'll pull him up here on DraftKings and go to his box score. And the reason why he's popping up is he is one of the best matchups in the league going against Houston. And he's just playing playing huge minutes recently. Uh, they've kind of finally, finally let him do whatever he wants. They gave him his free will to do whatever on the basketball court. And we're seeing some very, very good games from him. He's shooting the ball close to 20 times a game now in the past like seven, eight games. He's going to be playing close to 35, if not closer to 40 minutes if the game does, does stay close, which this game should. Uh, you know, it's not a bad spread. Six and a half, 228 and a half game total so decently high scoring as well so ivy looks like one of the best bets across the board just because right he's getting the minutes now which we do like he checks off that box he's getting the field goal attempts now close to 20 game which we like checks off that box he's actually been shooting the three pretty solid and he can get to the free throw line we know he loves driving the ball uh so he checks off all those boxes he gets rebounds he gets assists and he's just been super super aggressive in scoring the ball so i think his over there points looks really solid the board's favoring that as the best one but then you can go to his points and rebounds, or you can go to his PRA. I think all the three of those look great. Um, obviously, if he's not going to hit his PRA, it's mostly because he's not going to hit his points. So if I had to choose one, I think right now I'm going to go to, I'm probably going to, what do I want? PRA or points? Hmm, 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 hmm. I think we're going to go with, I think it's going to be points for right now. We're going to go with the board. What the board's liking over there, as you can see, it's almost 57%, 57% chance of him in the over there for points, 19 and a half. Right now, DraftKings has him minus 150 to hit the over 19 and a half. That MGM has him, or excuse me, Caesars has him at minus 151. So we're getting some great odds there on his over points in this game. Should be a close game. He's shooting the ball a ton. So really liking Jaden Ivey in the spot against Houston for the over there. And the, let's go continue to go down the board. Now we're going to switch over to best odds. And for best odds, let me clear these picks real fast. You can see CJ Crone still popping up. We get a mile straw up there for total bases. We're getting a bunch of total bases ones that are popping up uh, for this, uh, you know, probability bets. Are any of these on the board here for MLB? That'd be nice if they were. Uh, total bases. That's annoying that all these good ones are not popping up on price picks, probably because of the odds are just so high. But not much we can do about that. First NBA one we're getting is the rebounds and assists under there for RJ, which I don't like it just because there is no Julius Randle. So RJ should be in line for really, really solid minutes. Obviously not the best matchup. They are playing Cleveland, but you know, 7.5 for, excuse me, rebounds and assists from a guy who's going to be playing big minutes. Um, 
I just don't love that. You know, he's coming off of some very, very bad games recently, but he's averaging five, almost five rebounds per game, almost three assists per game, and that's with just normal usage. Now you take off a guy like Randall who has, who has a ton of usage, and it should solidify RJ's minutes. So with that in mind, I just don't love it. I just don't. I think that's just absolutely chasing um, and just hoping RJ has another terrible game, which maybe he could, but I don't love that. Uh, Keldon Johnson, I don't like that either. They're playing Golden State. That game could blow out. He, there's a chance he else also just doesn't play. Points, as you see, for Ivy's popping up once again. And beat assists is popping up. Don't mind that. Uh, but who are we going to get to here for the second pick? I have it in mind, but I just want to see if there's any other ones that are popping up. Hayes. Oh, I'll also mention for the, the Ivy one. Hayes is questionable. Uh, he did leave that last game with a leg injury, so that only helped solidify even more minutes for a guy like Ivy to do more of the playmaking. So if you want to go PRA, I don't mind it as well. But right now, I think for the, the second one that we're going to go to, see, we're getting a ton of unders for today for the, the higher probability. So if you want, guys want to do that, I don't mind it. I think it's just more fun to go with the overs. Obviously, it's it's smarter to go with unders. That's the, the, the smart way to bet. Or excuse me, bet. But Juan Soto there for batter strikeouts. So that looks pretty juicy there to over 0.5. You know, one strikeout and that hits. Let me see the, if that's on this real fast. So hitter strikeouts. I think that's looking pretty juicy for him to get at least one strikeout. I don't mind that. Um, but I think right now we're going to go back to the board. For the second pick, I'm going to go to the guy I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I'm going to go to Fred Van Fleet here over 18 and a half points. As I mentioned, we'll pull them up on the board here for you guys. We'll throw them in there. Points over 18 and a half, 52% chance according to the board, minus 125 right now on DraftKings Sportsbook. And as I mentioned with Fred, he checks off all the boxes that we do want with one of these guys that we're going to take the over on. He has the minutes. He has the shot attempts. You know, he's a good three-point shooter. He shoots a ton. Hasn't been shooting it too well recently, so I do like buying low on that. And he can get to the free throw line at times. So I'm like the over here for Fred. You know, he should be able to uh, hit a good amount of shots here. And he should be pretty, pretty aggressive. So I'm liking the over there for his points. And I also don't mind his fancy score. I think his fantasy score is a pretty solid one as well. So even if he does miss his shots, you know, he's been known to, you know, do very solid when it comes to assists, some rebounds, some steals and blocks. So I think his fantasy score, he could easily hit that as well, even if he's not hitting his points. So I think both are definitely in play, but I think I'm going to lean towards his points as of right now. So yeah, liking Fred over there of 18 and a half points and liking the over points of Jaden Ivey, 19 and a half and a great matchup for him there versus Houston. So those are the two picks for today. If you guys are going to be telling, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I will have uh, another four pick and another six pick in my Patreon link down below for my Patreon members where uh, I'm going to just mention a few names, Fox, Sabonis. I think there's some, some good odds there and some good bets there. Vooch. Um, there's a lot to like here on this board. For some bets there. So I'm going to be putting those in my Patreon. So make sure to check that out. Hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.